Hey guys, Shark Sweet here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Things have changed. You know, I got a little nose piercing. You know, spring is here. I got some time off from work in school finally. So I'm just here to give you a quick video. Can't promise when I'll be back or not, but I'm here to show you this look with two lip options. So stay tuned and enjoy. All right, so I'm gonna start with the eyes. I already primed them with some concealer. Specifically, I use ColourPop's concealer in Dark 40 to prime my eyes and I set it with the slightest bit of Laura Mercier's translucent powder and it looks a little weird so first I'm going to start out by taking Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to take the bright orange this Coastal Scents blending brush which is similar to the MAC 217 so I'm going to blend this in and above the crease and I'm not exactly sure what look I'm going for just yet but we will learn that together my eye looks so, I don't know, textured and weird. I feel like the concealer kind of moved. So I'm gonna slowly blend this color up and I'm holding towards the bottom of the brush so as to not apply too much pressure. I'm gonna bring this all the way into the inner corner. I'm going to take my Zoeva Matte Spectrum palette and I'm just gonna lightly dust the edges of the look with this orange shade right here which is a bit softer than the one we just used. And to lightly blend that out, I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics blending brush. I'm only literally, ugh, literally going to go over the edges extremely lightly. And next I'm gonna go into this shade, which is, this next shade is MT110. And I'm going to blend that directly into the crease, not being sure not to cover up this bright orange, just to add a little bit of depth, you know. Morphe E28 brush. And I'm holding more like in the middle of the brush for a bit more control. Packing that on the outer corner and then slowly bringing it into the inner lid. Mm -mm -mm. Going back to that first initial bright orange from the Zulu palette, I'm going to blend that. Blend the edges of the color we applied out a bit more and bring back that potent, vibrant orange. We don't want to lose you, boo. We don't want to lose you. All right, I'm going to take this uh, ColourPop Jelly Much Shadow in the shade Foxes. This is the cover I'm holding. This is just the pot. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to do it right and um... We gonna see how this turn out or whatever. Colored Rain Shadow Brush from their new Safari collection. It's just a flat synthetic brush. Oh yeah. This is really pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Let me do the other eye. Here we go. I'm gonna blend out the edges with that same Morphe E28 brush. Just to blend. I'm gonna line my lashes with ColourPop's new liquid liner in numero uno, which is just their black felt tip. All right, so my plan is to apply some lashes, but while I wait for the lash glue to dry, I'm going to apply Caution Extreme Lash, lash Mascara uh, by Hourglass. Let's see, I forgot who this is by, but it's right there on the package. Girl, just read. Okay, I'll be back when my lashes is on, okay? Okay. Oh my gosh, it is always so weird for me to have on lashes because I like don't often wear them and I like see them <laughs> when I'm looking with my eyes and it's just like, whoa, lash eyes. I hope they don't look crazy. I hope it's not doing too much. What do you think? Is it too much? I don't know. Anyway, these are the House of Lashes Boudoir, boudoir Mini Lashes that I have on and I use the House of Lashes glue. So... I'm gonna put on a face and make this um smooth. 
So I'm going to use the Hourglass Primer. This is the little trial size. And this is my second one I'm using of it. I don't wear makeup often. So um, when I can, I buy little trial sizes like this because it'll last me quite some time. And this is just a pointed foundation brush by um, <laughs> Real Techniques. And you can literally use your fingers. I typically use my fingers, but I'm like, let's be a, let's be a new help today. Let's be somebody else. Let's be different. Oh my gosh, so different. And now that I look ghostly, I'm going to... Oh, what foundation do I want to use? Mm, I'm between these. To make a fervor, this is the Mount Velvet. This is the Ultra HD. And this one is NARS Sheer Glow. I feel like I don't want to go too matte with this look. I kind of want to glow. Let's do NARS. I'm going to mix another foundation in. This is really red on me, which I knew when I first applied a little bit, but uh, I know don't be this red. Does it? I can't tell if it's even picking up on camera. I'm going to take some of my Makeup Forever Y505 and blend this in with my foundation. Now to conceal, first I'm going to start with NARS Amand, and then I'm going to highlight with Caramel. Amand just to go directly under my eyes. And also around my mouth. Now to highlight! I'm gonna set the rest of my face with MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Dark. This brush is shedding. Ugh! Oh, this is by Coastal Scents. Mm, I haven't used it much, so that'll tell you that. I'm gonna use bronzer. Um, I haven't used the bronzer. This is new. It looks pretty deep from the package, but this is by ColourPop, and this is in the shade Rodeo Drive. There we go. And I'm gonna take this angled brush by BH Cosmetics in V3. Just a fluffy, synthetic angled brush to apply it. It doesn't look as bad in the packaging but I'm still gonna go in with a light hand and not picking up too much product this damn shedding brush all over my face oh okay actually <laughs> I might have did something you don't see that I've never used a bronzer before can you believe it but I like this. Actually, before even taking it out of the package, I looked deep. So I went and ordered, I think, the one or two above this. But <clears throat> this might be it. And I'm just going to pinch the brush and just lightly apply it on the sides of my nose. Because I don't want it too harsh. <laughs> kind of like a contour, but this is bronzer, mm -hmm. as I mentioned. I just go on my jaw. Nice. Okay, I like this. Good job, ColourPop. Y'all coming through. All right, I'm going to apply with the same brush a tad bit of Max Raisin. Not too much. Okay. I'm going to set my face with this. Urban Decay Makeup Spotting Spray, the one I used before I applied foundation. And sometimes I just lightly depress the setting spray in. I'll take my beauty blender and go over my face. Sometimes the mist sits like on the little hairs of my face, so I just like to make sure I'm set. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing what's on the top, kind of on the bottom. But first, let me apply this ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade punch which is just a yellow liner there we go 
Let's take this smudger brush by Coastal Scents, which is just a short, densely packed brush, and I'm gonna apply the colors on my lower lash line, starting with that initial bright orange shade. Uh-oh, Mr. Softy's out here, okay. Mr. Softy in years. Not just years, but years. A little bit of a fluffier brush. I'm gonna lightly take a little bit of that second shade from Zoeva, this one right here, and just lightly blend it out using this brush. I'm taking this NARS. Does it have a name? Reve Sale. Pretty sure that's how you say it. And it's just ugh, so nice. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go in with a mix of these two highlighters and apply it to the highest points of my face. Ooh. I'm not doing too much. So I apply it and then I'm just lightly swirling it in the same area just to diffuse it a bit more. So very like it's visible but it's not like one of those BAM highlighters and sometimes I like that, that, that subtle inner glow although you see me applying it topically but you, you get it, you get it okay yes honey alright now let's go to the lips okay so I'm between doing a nude and a bright orange because I initially wanted to do this mm -hmm. you know what let's maybe try both all right so we put on Kay's lip liner by Colourpop and I'm gonna put on Colourpop's quickie lipstick which was a part of the Shayla collection which is like a nice brown girl friendly nude and I'm gonna apply mm -mm -mm, just a little bit of gloss in the center this is max lip glass and lust second lip option is going to be this new lipstick I got from Colored Rain from the Safari Rain collection and this is in the shade Queendom. Do, do, do. Right? Right? Yes, honey. Alright, I just added a little bit of loss to it, but let's get into this orange lip. <laughs> this is cute! Okay! Ugh. I know this might be a lot, but I'm loving this lip. Then with the eyes, you just boom pow him with a two-piece, yes. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this look with the two lip options. Uh, as usual, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Free world, free country, do what you want. Um, yeah, can't promise when I'll be back, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day. Hey, sorry, sweet here, welcome back to my channel, or welcome. It's a, it. Let's learn how to speak English before you post videos, okay? Can y'all hear that? Let's get back to it.